Oh, are you guys still waiting for Omran? Here he is. Oh, the boy. The god himself. A little late. Like, that's the, that's why we're going out. We're gonna try and get me better at cameras and shit and stuff. Oof. I'm tired, man. This thing's getting me tired. I just wanna get more comfortable on camera, mostly. And then, once I get better, I can show people, like, how I am. As a person. That you're chill and you're cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm chill and I'm cool, yeah. Yeah. Alright, dude. Alright, so I was born in Syria, but I, I grew up in Kuwait. Lived there for about eight to ten years and then immigrated to Canada I live in Canada for ten years and then moved to LA now to work here full-time oh look at this guys actually I, I discovered Riven by watching a lot of like Riven mainstreams I watched a lot of box 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 Box, uh, he's my inspiration, you know? Yeah. You know, it was fun seeing flashy plays, stuff like that. And I want to be that player to like make flashy plays all the time. My older brother is really supportive. He's a part of the reason why I'm like doing this. He always talks to my parents about it, you know, tells them that it's fine. He's gonna do well, just let him do his thing. So yeah, that's, he's, he's a part of why I'm here. That's so cool. Up in the middle, buddy. Let's get it. All right. Let's get it, let's get it, everybody. Here. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Filmmaker. <laughs> Do any of you guys wake up early? I think only Centaurin or Lucas. Yeah. Except really. Uh, like really, really early. I respect his grind, man. Yeah. He always needs to play like before anything. Mm -hmm. he, he gets that warm up game and that's he's sick. a really respectable dude. I really want to make him proud this year, man. Like that's that's the oh, that's, that's the awesome, main goal. Man. Like that's I wanna. Awesome. He deserves it. He's so good. He needs the recognition, you know mm -hmm. that. No one gives them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a trouble. I felt like this was good. It's just the goal of all my years, just f***ing on the And we kind of got f***ed And then we're missing axes this game. We actually missed a lot of axes. Uh, I think, yeah, but I think if we landed the axe and if I didn't ult early, it would be pain. Then I missed old years. Just take it. That was fast, Marshall. Omran's very own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also good hoodie. Uh, 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 Yo, you already know it. <laughs> you already know it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, CLG, the thing that they have going for them in this game, in my opinion, is putting Darshan back in the top lane. Sure, he hasn't been looking too great recently, but he's up against Viper in the top lane. Viper has only played two games on stage. Viper has just started his first split in the NALCS. Darshan is starting his 13th split. Okay, I'm slowly coming still. I'm walking to you. Oh, uh, they blew a lot of flashes. Okay. I'll uh, just catch the top left. Uh, since I was one health. Is this pretty um, I Did they use Oriol? They used... No, 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 I think she still has it. Okay. Run, yeah. Baron's in two minutes. Oh, yeah, just Ooh. yeah, we gotta wait for the Baron. They're gonna siege mid here. Can you go back? Are you flash? TK? Okay. Head back, head back, head back. Hiding, hiding, hiding. Yeah. Flag quest. Running out of options as CLG ran yeah, that's game. Base. That is game for sure. Viper will get resurrected one more time, but only to watch his base crumble. CLG, they fought forever, but their patience pays off as they will take down the next and finally pick themselves up a win here in the 2019 LCS. and then having to use our turn to retake control every time.
And then, as well as that, we're not getting deep enough pushes bottom to make our windows relevant, because on our timings, again, we're just using it to get control, but never actually defend the vision, right? In terms of top lane, like blowing your ulti that early, and then you know the flanks and playing those fights too quickly, I think contributed to a lot of the slowdown of the game. But I think when we have stuff like two stopwatches, two GAs, like on that timing, I think we can be really, really proactive and actually try to start fights because we just weren't doing that enough. And I think a lot of it has to do with our timings of when we got control and how we defended our vision in the later stages of the game. That's basically it. For tomorrow, if you guys want something that's more scaling oriented, more comfortable to play these kinds of slow games out, because the games are going to stall like this because we can't hold our vision properly, then that's how we're going to win. But it's not going to be good. It's not going to be how we become a better team. But for now, that's how we're going to win, if we, if we want to play that way. But if we want to learn, if we want to actually get better at this stuff and get better at like asserting our advantages through control and through like using information you know, disparity, if you will, um, then we, we can continue to try and do that and continue learning that. But I think we fell back on old habits and old weaknesses, and it's just not, it's not good enough. I think that's basically it. Do you have my badge, Andrew? Uh, it's over there. All right, spirit's up, guys. We got a game tomorrow, yeah. too. Yeah. Don't worry too not, much about it. Oh, yeah. Contest is still. I'm Palafine. I'm Edgar. What's up? Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm Joe. I'm Sax. I'm Sax. You guys from here? Yeah, we won. Yeah. You won? Wow. Oh. Wait, let's <laughs> stop. Top up your gameplay, Con. I'm just seeing you running down, dude. Really? But yeah, we're no. playing against TSM today. Uh, I'm not too worried, honestly. I know uh, I can't be better than Broken Blade. I just gotta show it, you know. Just gotta not feel pressured ever. I gotta just relax and play the play my own style, because that's how we're gonna win if I just play my own style. AMC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab water. Okay. I got a happy dance mouse pad. I gotta switch out my mouse pad because uh, there's a block on it. <laughs> you can see. Nice happy dance. <laughs> Who's, whose mouse pad is it? It's, it's hard. Positivity, energy on three. <laughs> so All right. Fly Quest, now, last week, FlyQuest had some bad early games, but they were able to pull together two solid wins with their heavy engage compositions. Yesterday, they went all in on the early game, and, well, the lead kind of just fell away from it. You know, they were uh, perhaps, though, overcorrecting on their focus. You know, they had a good thing going for themselves, started 2-0, and maybe didn't need to adjust quite as much. FlyQuest should be aware this is happening. I mean, they're in the area. Just now, they spot it. Baron's down to about one quarter I'm HP. Okay. Double, 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 I'm all thing, I'm all thing, I'm all thing. Oh, nice oh, oh, Belter! Oh, Belter! That's a huge play! He goes unstoppable, he takes down the enemy support. Broken Blade is broken in half! That turtle is unstoppable! FlyQuest has done a wonderful job making sure that they've got his number as Bjergsten will now have his own card pulled! They're jumping on him, they're finding the stages to find the damage, they're not able to find the kill, and the grinder for Broken Blade! Yeah, TSM are saying, all right, we have to go for this. We cannot just wait for FlyQuest to decide when they're going to fight again. We have to pull the trigger here. Kaisa firing the missile into the pit. The Drowsy finds its way on the Smoothie. The Ornhorn's going to be sounded, but he doesn't get the opportunity to send the Ram back into the fight. Smoothie's taken very low. Baron's going to be taken down. It's secured again by FlyQuest. Viper has this very, very low. Bjergsen may be able to finish his base, but there's a GA. The ultimate isn't available, but he's got to kill him twice, and there's no time. That's all she wrote. FlyQuest find their way. That's my, that's my top lane, bro. Look, Splanks were nasty. Good shit, bro. We killed it. We killed it. We killed it. Dude, it's, we did it, guys. We won. I did something this time. You know, it wasn't a 4v5 like last night. 
I actually did something. Ooh, that's my boy! <laughs> And then we do it, and then we just make it happen. It. That's it. Nothing, nothing else. You gotta, nothing else. You gotta, I think we get a little ballsy with our lead sometimes. I think we. Yeah, <laughs> I think we'd be a little, little better with that. Yeah, actually, I thought it was something I did better than yesterday. I was just asking, like, what are we playing for? And yeah. it sounds so stupid, but it gets everyone on the same page. Yeah, yeah I agree. And it makes it really clear. Yeah. So I think that's really helpful for our team. We should definitely just keep doing that every single time. I can agree. I'm really glad that you channeled the energy and the kind of feelings you guys had yesterday into like what sounded like a more focused, more polished comms at the very least. That you guys like again, you're clearly identifying your own goals, team goals within the game, and that we're trying to execute on them. Maybe we miss the timings, maybe we miss execute in some ways. But the fact that everyone came into this way more focused, I'm really glad for. But I want to see that two days in a row. I don't want to see that just in response to a loss. I just want to see that every single day that we're here in the studio. That's a big thing. Uh, I think draft played out pretty well for us as well. Uh, I think it went basically to plan. Uh, we can go over that a little later as well. But yeah. Um, yeah. Other than that, good job, guys. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there, but I'm doing it uh, like uh, not live. You're doing it live. Ah, oh, okay. Shit. And then they're just like, all right, well, I'm just going to warn all you now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they have to have hot dogs. Yeah. Oh, they oh, this should be a banger of the game. Yeah. I honestly think we'll be so cheesy to win. No way, dude. Well, I mean, if they picked the same comp yesterday and then C9 can't close out, maybe. Yeah. It was actually, their comp was literally like the most stall out until yeah, 50 yeah, minutes and we'll win comp. All right, so we're getting ready for the for the LCS after show. It's called like the cooldown, I think. Uh, it's the show where I do like the sound speedway and stuff there. I'm not sure where exactly it is, but yeah. I'll see you guys later. It's one thing if you're just like at lunch eating spicy food, but when someone's like, eat spicy food and then try and be intelligent, right? Like it's just like all of a sudden you have two jobs. You have to keep composure and organize thoughts and come up with analysis. And it's like, now you, you lose track, your mind goes blank and whatnot. So. I, did, I did get to watch the segment, but I'll Oh, I'll definitely it watch it back. I'll check just because it it's a struggle, but uh, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like screaming about smoothies. Just like, Why wouldn't you walk? Right, so we're getting practice. We're getting set up for the after show, the LCS after show. I'm practicing the sound speedway right now. You know, I want to get the record. I don't want to be known, you know, as the worst. It's either I get the best record or the worst. You know, I'm. I don't know which one. What's the record right now? Broken Blades got the Broken Blades got the record right now. I gotta, I gotta be getting ready. All right, have a good show. Thank you, man. Have a good one. The important thing. Actually, yeah. Oh, loaded Yeah. Hopefully, this guy doesn't beat my son's speedway run. Uh, it's looking like a big BG for him. So. I'm definitely beating it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to put a wager on it? Mm. Let's do it. Uh, person who loses by bubble tea. Sounds good. Yeah. Very victorious, I would say, FlyQuest. Extremely victorious. <laughs> I mean, it was a one in one week, but you guys look really good. You're alone in second at three and one. Like, this has got to be great. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Um, I think for us, it's not the end all be all for us, it's just the foundation that we want to lay out. And starting with three wins is really great. Starting with the kind of gameplay that we have is really good. Uh, but it's not the best we can be, and we all know that already. Mm -hmm. So being able to build upon the strong start is something that I'm personally looking forward to as well. So. Yeah, it definitely feels good to to start like this, especially on my rookie year. It's, right. It's it's a really good feeling to you know get hyped up to to even play better. Like I'm getting used to stage. I'm getting used to everything. That's really all I need. Like once I play how I play in scrims and translate it to stage, I think it'll be really a, good, a really good year for us. And you get to prove all the dummies like me wrong who didn't <laughs> think you guys were going to do well, so uh, <laughs> uh, pretty good start. Uh, yeah. I've definitely been impressed with how you guys have been playing on stage. All right, so we want one-on-one -on -one this week. Our Saturday game, it was kind of rough. We lost against CLG. We really expected to be CLG, but uh, a lucky stuff happened. Uh, 
On Sunday, we beat TSM. Felt really good. We picked it up. We did a lot better than how we did on Saturday. Uh, and right after that, I went to the cool down, I think it's called. I did the sound speedway. It was pretty fun. I was kind of nervous. It was my first time doing a riot event, but it was, it was cool. It's pretty good experience. And yeah, I liked it. All right, like and subscribe, but let me know in the comments what I can do to get better at vlogging. And the best comment gets this right here. This arcade driven thing. So it's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching me this week. Now I'm gonna pass this off for uh, Eugene's pole belters week. It's his turn to vlog. Hello. It's my <laughs> turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna type Viper. Yeah. Yeah.